We got all Brazilian semifinal number two, Caio Ibelli versus Miguel Pupo. They're going to battle for that spot in the final, the opening ride for Miguel Pupo. So Miguel Pupo on the inside ledge. The little goofy footer finding the little corner. See how it turns it? Gets the extra barrel time. Again, the forehanders with the smaller conditions, they're able to find these inside ledges. A little tighter quarters in those barrels. Opening ride for Miguel Pupo of 5.17. Pupo up and riding again. One pump into the barrel, now slows it down behind the curtain. Still traveling through the barrel and Pupo out again. So mirroring the strategy of Kaoli Vaz, Miguel Pupo off to a quick start against Kyle Ibel. In semifinal number one, look at the slow takeoff, dragging the arm adjusting the speed, then quickly picking up the pace as he sees that one start to run off. Again, that tube awareness of just understanding speed control is so important. And like I said, the forehand, just a little bit easier to do that. Again, starts off with the stall to maximize the barrel time. Look at both hands on the drag, slow, 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 gets in there, you gotta start to release. You know the foam ball's back there, touching the tail, tickling the tail, and then he realizes, oh, there's another section. He sees it, pump, pump, two quick squirts of the water through the concave, the wave turns the corner, opens up, and he comes out with a beautiful exit. Tube awareness, perfect. Yeah, great rock. And here he goes. Ibelli strokes into this one. Patient off the bottom, high line through the barrel, finds the exit on a little bit of a bigger wave. And nice carve off the top to finish off and show control. He kicks out into the channel. Or are they going to award the little bit bigger wave? I mean, watch that again. He slows himself down with with his bottom, holds on top of the wall, but he had to take the high line to get out of it. This is a good answer though. He's not gonna get too far behind now. He's gonna get a number here, probably arriving something close to the low score of Miguel Pupo. Miguel Pupo using his priority, has to muscle his way past the foam ball and this one closes out. So no exit for Miggy. Kyle's gotta be careful there. Place in the finals. This happened during the interview. Nice. And, uh, the drop was nice and critical. You know, he had to air out to get into it and uh, helped him to stall. Look at oop, that little bobble into this and then picks up speed. Not the cleanest of exits. That'll factor in in regards to does this better the 517, but he goes to maneuvers, gets one snap in. Live action with our heat leader, Miguel Pupo, and sees nothing ahead of him, but he's got the lead over Kyle Belly. Ibelli out in the red jersey with priority. Ibelli needing a 7.33 to turn the heat. Miguel Pupo slides into the barrel, long section in front of him, travels a little bit longer and comes out. Pupo winds up off the bottom, slashes into some shallow water before ducking out. Looking to better his 6.67. Pupo just working that inside ledge, Peter. Successful. Hey, we're going to start with Miguel. Yeah, again, look at stalling tactics, then picking up speed. That one filled up with water, no worries. He was able to get right through it. And then, nice little gaff. Maneuvers are going to be a little more emphasized today with the smaller conditions. Now trying to improve on the 6.6. Here we go. Kawi Belly yanks on the rail. Cavernous ride, the long pinching wave, and that wave pinches on the head of Kayo Ibelli. Those little bigger waves don't have that turn of the corner and that opening up of the wall. Okay, it's been a great show, by the way, out here in Tahiti. Miguel Pupo again utilizing that inside ledge. Look at him. Again, double arm drag, a little bit behind the curtain here, stalling for more time. Stalling comes through another section. And he's just playing with it at this yeah, point. Well, he's identifying the waves that are allowing that exact scenario to happen. He can find himself, uh, you know, something special. Watching again, just identifying this little, what, three and a half, four footer. But look at the barrel time he carries all the way through. Able to read the little bumps and ridges. Another wave probably not going to factor in. I mean, the wave before actually came in at his, what, same score as his low. Yeah. Previous wave, a 6.67. We're still waiting for that last wave. You can see it turns the corner. Now, look at Kyle's made an adjustment. And Kyle making the adjustment. Some travel time, but just gets clipped on the way out for an incomplete ride. I love that he's going to keep doing it and, and rolling the dice because he's not really that far behind. We're supposed to inspire the youth, and, and uh, it's just going to improve the whole sport.
Bigger wave for Miguel Pupo. A little elevator drop there. Tucks behind the curtain. Second section for Pupo. Drives through, busts through the door. And a nice completion for Miguel Pupo. One more time, we'll take a look. Yeah, so it's this much bigger wave. First section there. Sees that this next one's coming and drags his arm, slows on down, and gets the exit. So two distinct sections. That's technical tube riding, understanding the wave and what it was going to do. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, slow down. Up high. Stay high. Well, right behind him, Kyoe Belly pulls tight and high. Has to get through a foam ball here. And again, the door shuts on Ibelli. And, and uh, Miguel Pupo able to break through that door. Live action with Kyoe Belly pulling in. That wave just fills up with white water. You can see Belly going down. Continuing to swing at waves and trying to claw his way back into this heat. But he needs a 7.33. That need may increase. We're still waiting for last score of Miguel Pupo. The, the biggest part is being able to make good decisions, you know, instinctual the decisions that are the right ones. So uh, I love it. We're down to the last, the Hooter. There we go. Here's the reaction from Sammy. A little golf clap, he knows. <laughs> the it's game's not over yet. Not over yet. Yeah. We got to get into the final. We got to win that final. But Pata Benz to Miguel Pupo. He will be joining Kauli Vas in the men's final.